न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी वर डिस्कस द फ्लूड एस विस्कस एंड नॉन विस्कस सो न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस लॉ फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज विस्कोसिटी कंसीडर ए फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग ओवर ए फ्लैट प्लेट or a stationary flat plate then the fluid i'm considering this fluids as this layers okay the flat plate has a velocity of zero that is it is stationary the fluid layer having a velocity v equal to v infinity okay so the fluid layer which is in contact with the flat plate will have a velocity of zero will have the velocity of zero because it is in contact with the fluid layer and the the fluid layer just above the that so i am drawing this the fluid layer which is in contact with the flat plate that is equal to v equal to zero the next fluid layer just above this v equal to zero fluid layer then it will have a higher velocity that is v equal to some fraction of means k into v infinity k not equal to 0 if k equal to 0 it will become 0 but it will be just above that means there will be a gradual increase in the velocity from the contact surface to the flow stream at the top layer so this kind of a phenomena means the fluid layer which is in contact with the fluid um, flat plate will have a zero velocity and the fluid velocity increases upwards means the lower layer the lower one will resist the flow of the upper one this is the resistance that resistance to flow is called resistance to flow is called viscosity means consider two fluid layers they are this will have a velocity u and this will have a velocity u plus du and separated by a distance dy okay they are separated by a distance dy then newton's law of viscosity says that the shear stress that is shear force per unit area proportional to velocity gradient velocity gradient that is tau proportional to du by dy du by dy or we can write as tau is equal to mu into du by dy where mu is a constant we call it as coefficient of viscosity or dynamic viscosity and du by dy is a velocity gradient in another way we can write this as tau is proportional to d theta by dt that is shear okay shear strain rate that is shear stress is proportional to shear strain rate means the initially the fluid layers are like this parallel and when a shear st stress tau is applied it will be deforming like this because of the shear stress the angle is theta then it is shear angle then shear stress is proportional to d theta by dt okay this law means shear stress proportional to du by dy or shear stress proportional to shear strain rate is called newton's law of viscosity visco city again shear stress that we know that force per area that we can write so these formulas will be very useful in solving problems so in this video we covered newton's law of viscosity it is just simply shear stress is directly proportional to shear strain rate or shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient and we introduced the dynamic common called mu that is 
uh, viscosity that is also called dynamic viscosity viscosity okay viscosity or dynamic viscosity we will be covering the uh, dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity in coming lectures